I was hesitant at first because of mixed reviews. I have to say, I love it. I haven't charged it in a week, in spite of using it multiple times. I think if you use it heavily for a few days, you will need to charge it more often. But are we really to the point where having to charge a device once a week is a chief complaint? There is a learning curve, but once you start to play around with it, it's pretty user-friendly. Simple Google searches answered most of my questions quickly. I encourage you to form your own opinion. Cost. I got it on sale and traded in an old device to make it cheaper, then am doing the monthly payments for the rest, so I found it all reasonable. Watch for sales and utilize monthly payments to help with costs. Reading. The reading on this is stellar. If you love Kindles, you will enjoy it. It feels more like a book than a regular Kindle. I have several gadgets I use to prop items up. I also like laying it flat, like a paper, when I'm reading and writing on PDFs. This might surpass my paperwhite for reading, which is saying a lot since that thing is awesome. Writing. I love writing on this. I got the premium pin and love using the fountain pin, setting because it looks beautiful. I found it really simple to create notebooks and lists. I like using it for brainstorming so I can still handwrite things, but not waste a bunch of paper, and love the undo feature for similar reasons. There's also a function to circle and erase a section, which is neat. Book notes. Others have mentioned not being able to write in book margins, but the notes feature is still nothing to scoff at. For most books, I can tap where I want to make a note, then either handwrite or type with the on-screen keyboard, and it will leave a tiny note icon in that spot, which is easy to access later. This looks cleaner than writing on the book page, while still being functional and simple. A few books still only let you do the old-school Kindle notes, but those aren't bad either. They are creating more books with writing options. PDFs. Being able to write on and highlight PDFs is a game-changer for grad school, so this is proving to be one of the more helpful features, and part of why I got one. You can adjust the margins of the PDF, depending upon if you want it more for reading or notes. I took notes on a PDF and sent it back to myself, then later pulled it up on my desktop for my research. Size, battery, and general functionality. The size is just right, feeling more like a book or paper while still being condensed. I was able to repurpose an old planner cover for it. As mentioned above, I feel the battery life is impressive as it tends to be on all Kindles. I've used it for hours on a multi-day road trip without recharging. It's also the first device I can read and write on in a car without getting carsick, as will be the case with most too. In one technology, you might not get every single facet of each one when you combine them, but I do not feel this to be lacking. I'm glad I bought it and hope others will form their own opinions and get just as much joy out of it.